business if any process is completed then finally what you will see at the end of the day you need to see the reports correct mm -hmm. you want to see the reports mm -hmm. okay so in pp also we have the report standard reports okay so in this mainly only one is the report from there you can get all the information i see related to production mm -hmm. okay. so that is transaction code for this one is c o o i s c o o i s this is also called cois transaction mm -hmm. code is cois somebody will call but the transaction code is cois yeah okay mm -hmm. now cohv and cois are looks like same only cohv will have the additional button mass processing mm -hmm. but cois won't have that button Sorry, what what you mean? Yeah, I will show you that. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Yeah, now I am I am going to the COHV mass processing transaction. You can see COHV have in the two buttons here, two tabs. One is selection. Yeah, two tabs. And another one is mass processing. Mass These yeah. two are there. Okay, yeah. but in COIS. C O I S. Yeah, Only yeah. selection button will be there. You don't have mass processing because this is a report. Mass processing is a activity. Okay. Here you can enter the plant number. Okay. And just execute. Yeah. Okay. All these are yeah. the, your production orders. From here, this is a report I told you. But somebody want to see this data in an Excel file, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can export this data into Excel file. You expand this button. In the starting, you have a mm -hmm. arrow button here, triangle. Mm -hmm. You click on this button, mm -hmm. and you will get the more buttons here. Then okay. you click on this export button. Okay. And Reaction. select a spreadsheet. I let this one so then click on spreadsheet now what is that arrow indicate the last no, the black black the arrow, arrow indicate means it is expanding this menu oh okay if you click okay. this one it just expand this menu that menu okay okay, okay. Yeah. yeah then in that menu you select this oh, no. next one next one yeah this yeah one. export button yeah and, and then one. select Spread. the spreadsheet so yeah so here you can select select the format okay select the format yeah yeah and click ok button yeah so and you can select the file name here and path okay cois and save it so it will ask you yellow yellow Now you can see the data has come in Excel file. All, all are in, uh, in sequence. Correct. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, I think I have the possibility to see, for example, all the planet order for uh, day training, for example. Yes, yes. Certain week, yes. one week. Yeah. Yes, exactly. I will show you that yeah. example now. Yeah. yeah. So Nicholas want to see only particular days. You don't want to see you want to see only in the month of April. What are the orders? So you can yeah. come back in a selection mm -hmm. screen in the bottom. Mm -hmm. You Dead will hand. have the dates also dates also. 
you can scroll down okay here you can see header level start date okay. oh great start date, date which is in the month of april you want to see mm -hmm. start date which is having in the month of april date range till month of mm -hmm. end the mm -hmm. orders which is having a start date from this range you want to see the orders so you mm -hmm. can select it and you can execute now you can see only orders which mm -hmm. are there oh sorry mm -hmm. yeah this one which are there in the april only it will show you just same yeah. thing you want to see the particular date only you can select the date only. Yeah. we don't have more yeah. many orders so i did not select for example you want to see which are going to start on 23rd you want to see select so it will show you only these two orders now i will tell you one more thing now last four or five days we did the confirmations goods movements migo and everything so mm -hmm. generally as a production person i want to see what is my yesterday production mm -hmm. yesterday yeah. people somebody has confirmed goods movements and everything migo is done so i want to see what is yesterday my production so how can i see that is a report actually end of the day i should know how much i produced correct yeah yeah, you look okay. at the uh, production order and you put the date yesterday date. Yeah, not yeah. that one. I will show you in a different way. Can you, you can see? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I want to see what is the other functions that we like. You put the material or front, then you put bottom date wise. Can you go down? I want to see that what other options or what, the, what other activities that we have that we yeah. can we can all these buttons you can see dates in the production order you will have a different dates you uh -huh. can see those dates actually and correct it's correct related finish date i see start okay. date end date release date all these dates will be there in the production order so by which date you want to select you can select you can enter the date details here yeah Okay. okay okay and then now you want to see what are the goods movements has happened for order okay yeah then uh -huh. here in the list you can select the list i see okay mm -hmm. for example you want to see the goods movements so you can see you can select the option called where is that option which moment with here not with the, we don't this one documented goods movements i see okay mm -hmm. you can select that option in the list mm -hmm. and enter the plant and execute mm -hmm. oh movements are not coming okay now maybe you would have all the good movement related to mm hd everything you know no, no, no one config setting is missing so that is the reason it is not coming but otherwise it will come okay yeah. let me correct it spr i am correcting it in the configuration otherwise it will come all the goods movements actually production shop floor control So here in the order types actually this is the configuration setting define order type dependent parameters mm -hmm. go here and select our plant and order type this is our plant 3001 and pp01 is our order, order type mm -hmm. go to the details and in the implementation tab here you can see documentation of goods movements documentation means you need to tick mark this gr of production and planned unplanned issues if you tick mark this one so whatever the movements you are doing for this order will display in that report if these tick marks are not there it won't display your goods movements 
Migo will happen, but in that report it won't show you.